Hey, what's up everyone? It's Anthony. So I was outside today and I saw a nest out by one of the windows. And I decided I did not want it to sit there. I don't know if it was bees or wasps or whatever in there. But I didn't want to worry about getting stung every time I walked past it or any of the kids in the neighborhood getting stung. So I decided to remove it. Got myself a long screwdriver. Hit it and ran because I hate bugs and I don't want to get stung. And got it down. And luckily nothing came out and attacked me or anything. And uh, I was kind of surprised when I got it down because it was so hard. It was very hard. And I went inside to do some research and I found out that it was a, a nest that was made of mud. I thought it would be more leafy or flaky. And it was made of mud. And I came inside and looked closely at the wasp and figured out it was a mud dauber wasp. It's a specific kind of wasp that isn't... Uh, too harmful to people. They aren't very aggressive from what the websites said. But I don't care. It's a bee or a wasp, and I don't like bugs at all. So, anyway, I brought it inside and I got my handy little olive clip lens for my iPhone and put it on there. By the way, it's one of the best investments for the phone. I highly recommend you get one if you like photography. Put my macro side on, and here we go. Decided to break things down. So, here's part of the the nest, made of mud, pretty cool, pretty hard. I was really surprised at the strength of it. it took some decent pressure to break it apart. And that, that I guess, is like a, an egg or, or, or a shell or whatever you want to call it that held the, the wasp larva or the baby wasp or whatever name it is. Let's get in there a little bit. Cool. So, as I broke it apart a little more, I found a few more in there. And some of them actually had the bugs in there, the wasp. So the first one I found, let me bring it to view here. I guess wasn't mature all the way, but still gross enough. Didn't have much color to it. Pretty cool, huh? So you get it on the face. Let's see if we can get down below and see the stinger. Any stinger action there yet? Hmm. If it's there, I can't see it. So legs. Let's flip it around a little more. No. I found out it was the kind of wasp it was because of the long skinny waistline, which I'll show you on the next bug, then the next version I pull up. That's pretty cool. Let's take a closer look at its head. Let's see here. There's a little claw action over there. See its eyes. What's going on on top? See some little markings on its... I don't know if that's anything special. Anyway, I found another version of it. I don't want to bore you with this one, although this is pretty cool. Because you don't really get to see these up close like this. Not everyone has a macro type lens. And once again, I hate bugs, so this is just nasty. What is that in there? I wonder if that's a stinger in there. Who knows? I'm an idiot. I talk too much. Anyway, so let's blow that one out and bring the next one over. The next one, I'm guessing, was a little more mature. Because it had some color. Let's see here. Move it around a little bit. Get a better view. What? No kidding. This one is alive. 
See a little movement over there? God help me if this thing all of a sudden just became alive and started flipping out. You want to see a big guy run for his life? I hate bugs. Once again, did I mention that? Any stinger action there? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Is that a stinger? I don't know. I'm not cutting it open or anything because that'll just gross me out. Sorry. Let's just get a good look. So you can see that skinny waistline and what looks to maybe be the wings growing in there. Yeah, I think those are the wings. Let's see if I get this steady here. Yeah, it's moving. Part of it's alive. Part of it wants to sting my face off. Let's move it around a little bit more. Let me readjust. Let's see. And bring it in closer. Hmm. How exciting. Still moving. Got a pulse. A little bit more here. Let's flip it over. Looks like that leg is the only thing moving. Ain't gonna be moving for long. Be swimming in toilet land. Well, there you have it. There's your close up. And I need to go disinfect my desk. In my hands. Once again, highly recommend this olive clip. Very cool. If you like the macro things or the wide lens or all this stuff. All right, there you go. That's it. I'm going to get back to work here. I hope you enjoyed. There you go, Mr. Mud Dauber Wasp. Half alive, very close up, and very safe as of now. And I'm going to get rid of it before it becomes unsafe because I didn't know it was moving before. So, enjoy. Talk to you later.